I'm in a group, uh, it's called the co-disciplinary group with um, the class of Mr. Roundy's new venture class and um, we're doing solar panel shingles, solar producing shingles. Um, I'm going to start off, how much do you guys think it costs for electricity bills here in low income areas in Chattanooga? Well, low income people, they usually pay about 15 to 20 percent of their um, income goes to only utilities. This does not include rent. Um, and if you take in consideration, most of, this house, most of these houses were built in the 1900s, so they have very poor insulation. Um, <coughs> but we have a way to make this eco-friendly. Solar shingles are shingles that go on your rooftop with, with solar harvesting components merged into one. But why? Let's be honest, solar panels are hideous. They are just big black things that are drilled into the rooftop and why, that doesn't make any sense. You, it creates value for your house, but you also lose value at the same time. Um, with the rooftop shingles, they, are, um, they harvest, they, they harvest your power, and you get to choose a style that's suitable for you and your house. So those who are in need of a new rooftop or um, contractors who are building new houses and would like to go this way instead of regular old shingles that only last 10 to 12 years. Um, our shingles being solar, they last up to 20 to 25 years. Um, the average cost to replace a roof uh, with normal shingles will be $6,000 to $9,000 and that is $450 per square, not per square foot. Um, average homes actually <laughs> so you're selling the panels <coughs> to lower income housing. Homes. Right, but that thing, the reason we're doing it to low income, they have a problem. Uh, solar panels cost too much uh -huh. and they don't want to install them in these houses right. that are poorly built. Right. So our um, shingles have a way where they attach very easily so you're not doing as much damage as you are with regular panels which are drilling them in. So how much are you going to earn on these shingles, say your first year? I didn't get that far, but <laughs> I know um, the roof the, for the shingles is about $30,000 to install them with insulation and everything. Okay. And um, the finance, um, there's a financing available with like BB&T, so we go through um, Green Spaces and EBB and TV. TBA, mm -hmm. and they've told us that BBNT has started financing some money to these lower income people that helping them pay for this. But if I truly am low income, is thirty thousand even viable for me? If you take, if you look into consideration long term, um, yes, because within twelve years, a resident, a low income resident, can pay that off, and. Um, Long term, they will be saving about fifty-four thousand in a thirty-year time span. Is this an entirely new idea? So there's nothing like a solar panel, other than a solar panel. There's no shingle type thing. There is shingle type stuff, but our new <coughs> idea added to that would have been um, an app where um, it tells you which panel has gone wrong, like which mm -hmm. ones. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. I just want to uh, take a second um, to explain. You guys, most of you are probably not even aware. This is a project. We've got two co-disciplinary projects happening. They're pilot projects this year. Um, you may not know this, but the more that you interact with people, other majors, like computer science majors and engineers, even you know musicians and artists. The more the creative juices start flowing and the more uh, business venture ideas uh, develop. So um, the, the presentation you just saw, that's, that's a group that is working. They're working, uh, they're in Dr. Roundy's class, the uh, new venture creation class. And the business students are working in conjunction with the engineering students. Engineering students um, have a, a, actually a two sequence course where they come up with a venture concept and then they develop a prototype. 
Um, and so our, our business students are really going to be bringing in more of the business acumen, right? Figuring out what the market really wants and, and, and helping in that regard. And so the joint project that they're going to end up doing is actually a business plan that's actually a, a product of both the engineering side as well as the business side. So, you know, we'll hopefully have more of these as time goes on, but uh, just a little background for you about what's happening here in entrepreneurship. All right, thanks. <laughs>